Thank you for joining us for our video today on getting started with Law Toolbox for Microsoft Teams. This is for law firms, for corporate legal departments, and for government. Uh, here with us today, we have Rima, who is the Principal Product Manager Engineer um, engineering role at Microsoft. We have Dasha, who is a Customer Success Manager at Law Toolbox, and my name is Carolyn Groh, and I am the Chief Operating Officer. With us today, are our clients that have been using Law Toolbox inside Office 365, inside Microsoft 365 Outlook, and are interested in exposing managing partners and associates, legal assistants, paralegals to using the collaborative experience of creating teams automatically and managing their, their calendaring in a in a much more chat-based type framework. So we're going to talk about calendaring or docketing, and you're going to see it happening not just in Outlook anymore, but inside of Microsoft Teams, and honestly back and forth between the two products, leveraging chat inside of a matter, and doing all of this within the security that Microsoft 365 brings to the table, leveraging all of those permissions that your IT shop has put in place. So just a quick introduction uh, for those of you who are hearing about us for the first time, who we are. So Law Toolbox is one of four companies that has built over the course of 25 years rules that automatically generate deadlines based on court deadlines based on regulatory, administrative, and transactional corporate deadlines related to taxes, for example. In fact, most of the online practice management platforms in the industry today have chosen Law Toolbox to, to bring that rules-based calendaring component, component into their product. And again, we are celebrating 25 years as a born in the cloud application this year. Very excited about that. So think of us as an umbrella platform that connects Outlook and Teams native calendaring built on top of the Microsoft 365 platform where you're not adding a new cloud. You're doing this all in your own Microsoft 365 tenant um, in a way where you can get your work done where you spend your day. Uh, excited that Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella um, highlighted us this year at his Inspire conference um, for what you're about ready to see today, today, our Teams integration. And we will be showcasing, Dasha will, um, our Teams templates that we uh, unveiled at Microsoft's Build conference in front of 50,000 folks in the middle of last year. So um, very excited for you to see that. So uh, again, our clients have traditionally started using us in Outlook and today everybody's interested in how they can use Law Toolbox inside of Teams where you're able to extend the deadline management beyond the Outlook calendar to the Teams calendar, to planner, to to-dos, linking your DMS, whatever DMS you have in place to your calendar events and doing that all within the data governance um, through your native Microsoft data governance or third-party applications. So here is what you're going to see today. Um, we're going to take you from top to bottom through how to use Law Toolbox inside of Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to hand it over to you, Dasha. Thank you, Carolyn. We're going to start our journey in Microsoft Teams, and in a moment we'll switch over to Outlook so you can see the perils of how you can work in both platforms and seamlessly navigate to the correct place you want to work on. Right now, we have opened up Law Toolbox as an app within our Teams environment, and you can see we have a chat bot in the middle of the screen that we can interact with, ask for deadlines, and um, use simple tasks to sign in, um, get updates on my cases. And first, we're gonna go over to our Law Toolbox tab and show you how to sign in with Law Toolbox. Very easy, you just go ahead and click sign in and it's gonna take you through your Office 365 sign in flow. So it's using your single sign on, any multi-factor authentication and automatically signs you in because we're already signed into our Teams environment. Same goes for anywhere you're accessing Law Toolbox. And I think users, you. the attorneys are only having to do this um, one time, right? And occasionally thereafter. So once you're signed in, you're in. Absolutely. So it 
automatically recognizes that you are signed into your Microsoft applications and normally it will automatically just take you to the screen to see your dashboard for your upcoming deadlines. Next, what I want to show you is how to create a team for a specific case. So let's take a look at our Smith v. Jones matter. And when I click on it, it's going to pull open a menu for us. And in the top right hand corner, you can see we can create a team for it. Normally, our users are going to be starting in Outlook. And looking at the Law Toolbox add-in within the Outlook environment and creating the team right here. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. From here, I'll just go ahead and click Create Team. And this is going to pull open our templates that your administrators have set up for you. So our firm practices and very specific areas and each one of these options is going to allow you to generate a team with pre configured apps channels and tabs that we want to include there. So we're going to go ahead and select the contracts. Team to be generated and in just a moment our teams is going to highlight so you can see the pop up right here and um, in the team section we'll be able to see our Smith v. Jones matter unfolding. So you can see right here, it's starting to populate the channels that were designated under our contracts matter. So we'll go ahead and hit the general channel. Rima, yeah. why don't I go ahead and give you the floor to talk a little bit about the Teams 101 and what we're looking at here. Yeah, no, that's great. Thank you. Thank you, Joshua. Um, so Teams, as most folks know, is a collaboration tool, right? So it's most commonly known for being able to chat with people, call, host meetings, but you can absolutely collaborate on content together, um, especially legal matters here as we're talking about today. Um, so I just wanted to kind of draw a little bit about, you know, the landscape and what's happening here in Teams so that people kind of understand like where to go and, and what they're seeing. So on the very left side where you've got the activity, the chat, the teams icon, this is what's called the app bar. And this is where all your different apps and teams will live. As you notice, we've got the law toolbox app there as well. So that's it's kind of like a quick shortcut for you to be able to go directly into that app if, if you need to. Right next to that, we have what's called the left rail, and that changes depending on you know which app you're in. So right now we're in the Teams side of things, and that's where you see all of your Teams and channels. If you're in chats, that's where you would see all your chats. So again, it's it's dependent on you know what you've navigated or what you've clicked on, on in the app bar. Um, and then in the middle sort of screen, um, when you're in a team and when you're in a channel, up at the top, you've got tabs. So uh, as you can see, Dash is hovering over the Law Toolbox tab. And so when she clicks on that, uh, this actually shows the Law Toolbox app within the team. Um, and that's you know based upon what we just created. Um, and so whenever we reference the Law Toolbox tab, this is exactly what we're talking about. And this information is loading in the main stage. So in that center sort of area where it's front and center and people can manage everything they need when it comes to, to, to matters. So. Just wanted to give that quick introduction introduction uh, before we go forward. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rima. Um, Carolyn, why don't you talk a little bit about the data governance and kind of the security of um, law toolbox and deadlines within the Teams environment? Absolutely. So uh, the, the beauty and the reason that we've built our application inside of Microsoft 365 uh, was so that we could really leverage all of the permissions and security and third party data governance apps, Microsoft's native compliance center compliance manager apps to automatically allow for whatever type of records retention policies or automatic archiving of either one to one chats or posts within a matter uh, or within a Microsoft team that's been automatically provisioned for matters so that everything that your organization from an IT standpoint has put in place to protect your client data uh, when you're using Microsoft 365 is inherited uh, by our application and um, and constrained and, and works within. So, yep, back over to you, Dasha. Thanks, Carolyn. Perfect. So next I'm going to go over to a different case that we've already set up. And right here, I want to show you the different tabs and options that we have here. And I want to focus on the Law Toolbox tab. So this tab right here is going to take you directly to the deadline chart for a matter. And everyone who is part of this team will have access to see the deadlines that are coming up for our matter. From this view, we can um, have our docketing users add additional calendared events. So if we have a date of trial that's been scheduled for this case, we can go ahead and hit the calculate option and generate the deadlines for our case. 
So in this particular scenario, our matter is in Los Angeles Superior Court, but it can be all over the US as well as Canada. And um, we'll just go ahead and generate a deadline for our matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this happened yesterday. And when I click next, the system is gonna automatically look to the library of law toolbox deadlines um, for this particular jurisdiction. And you'll see them generate right here. From this view, we can review the deadlines, um, make any additional changes. From this screen, I'm gonna go ahead and just sync these deadlines so everyone who's part of this team will automatically um, see these dates on their calendar. The other thing Law Toolbox provides is a calendar view within a team. So if I um, go to this matter and go to our calendar view, we're gonna be able to see all of the deadlines that are coming up for this case as a team. Next up, what I wanna talk about is um, how we can collaborate on these deadlines. So let me go back to view and edit deadlines for this case. And we have a deadline coming up for this matter. And um, someone set this up to have an internal review for a summary judgment plan. With this summary judgment coming up for our particular case a few months down the road, we wanna get ahead of getting on top of these deadlines and assigning some of these tasks to our team members. So as you can see, someone already linked the summary judgment plan to our matter. And when I click on it, it's gonna automatically take me to the tab for our tasks. And I'll take it over to Rima to talk a little bit more about the tasks component. Yeah, so we have this integration into Microsoft Teams called Microsoft Planner. And so Planner is a way that a group of individuals can actually collaborate and update tasks. So what's really great about this is that you've got a centralized place to manage your deadlines, manage what's happening next, managing some of the, the sub tasks that need to happen with a larger task. And again, everybody can see the same dashboard and manage it from one central place. Uh, this is a great way to, to manage some of your deadlines as you're going um, you know, through your matter process um, and making sure again, that everybody is really all on the same page and, and working towards a, a date or a goal. Um, what's really kind of very unique about this is that if you've got an end date or, or a you know a due date assigned to a task it'll automatically remind you via outlook email to say hey your task is coming up or hey you know your task is due today um, or even if you've passed a due date it'll tell you hey you've passed a due date you know you made you better make sure to complete that task so uh, really really cool things natively here uh, be sure to check it out perfect thank you so much Rima so this right here allows me to assign a team member. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign Megan to this task. And now I wanna collaborate with Megan on this particular event. So I'm gonna to go to the post section. And if we're staying in Teams, we can natively move around um, the Teams tabs and go to all the designated items that we wanna look at. Or if we switch over to Outlook for just a moment, um, we can see the same matter that we were just working on and we can jump into a Teams chat straight from our Outlook. So if we get an email from a client um, asking for certain things and we wanna get an update to the client, we can dive into a Teams chat or a Teams meeting and go straight to this channel. So as you can see, it's refreshing me and putting me back into the post section for our general channel within our Acme mat matter. From here, I can go ahead and start a new conversation or reply to an old one, and I can ask a coworker to give me an update. So for this scenario, I'm going to go ahead and ask Megan to collaborate with me on our summary judgment motions that we're preparing that are coming up within a month of our case deadline. So I'm going to go ahead and communicate with my team members, call out anyone we want to so I can add additional people to see if there's any meetings that have been scheduled, and we can see the responses in real time. Next up, what I want to show you is how to link and collaborate on documents within Law Toolbox and the Teams environment and start co-authoring certain items. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Law Toolbox tab at the top right hand corner. And for this particular matter, we see um, we have a summary judgment draft that I want to collaborate with my team members. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this um, document and ask Megan to, the re to review this. So as you can see, it's showing us the location for this file. So whether it's coming from Teams natively or your document management system, you can add this link to a Law Toolbox deadline um, as well as collaborate on the post section and we can all be working on this particular document. It takes us to a collaborative space where I can see Megan has already started working and 
has been modifying this context. So that way, anyone who is part of our team that pulls open this document, they'll be able to see the latest version. Rima, is there anything that you'd like to add for the co-authoring side? Absolutely. Um, co-authoring is really unique. Uh, it, it allows multiple people, like Joshua said, to actually collaborate and really work on a document together at the same time. You can see edits as they're happening. Um, a lot of people tend to ask me, hey, like, how do, how do I not write over someone's edits? Well, what's really cool about co-authoring is that as you're typing, um, it actually locks the sentence or the word that you're in. So somebody can't literally type over you. Um, but as you continue typing, you know, somebody can come either ahead or behind you and, and take a look at what you're seeing and, and you know, again, edit in real time. You can have multiple, pe multiple people co-author at the same time. And this isn't just a feature that's unique to desktop. Uh, you can also do this on your mobile uh, device. So whether that's an iPad or an Android tablet, what have you, uh, it's the same experience across all, all devices. So um, it's a pretty cool thing. I live on this uh, every day when I work with teammates on, you know, creating and editing documents. So really, really cool. It makes things go a lot faster, to be honest, right? So um, definitely check this out. Yeah, I hear about law firms doing this as they're, you know, they're in trial and they've got two hours to select their jury. And there's a lot of co-authoring going on there with conversations. And Rima also mentioned the mobile setting. Is that something that you can show us, Carolyn? Absolutely. Let me show you what this looks like. Yeah, so on Teams Mobile, there's a, a lot of great features. Um, the screenshot that's happening on the left side of the screen right here, we see black with, some, with two purple squares. This is actually showing a meeting experience where actually can, if you're in the middle of a Teams meeting on your desktop computer and you want to move over to your mobile, you can actually transfer the meeting over to your mobile device right away, which is something that I use quite frequently. Um, so sometimes, you know, I have to go take the dog out or I have to go, you know, run to the office um, and I'm in a, in a Teams meeting, I'll actually switch over directly to my mobile and that's an option in the meetings space. On the right hand side, you actually see a, a rotating a little video here that's showing Law Toolbox app on the mobile device. So even though it looks just a little bit smaller than your desktop, it's still all the same great features that you have on the desktop, all within your mobile device. Again, it could be tablet as well. Um, super, super key if you're if you're on the road, if you're you know running to court and you still have to get things done, you can have that same great experience right on mobile. I love using that feature when I'm on my way out the door and I wanna stay on the meeting, but I need to pop in my car. Awesome. So uh, the other thing that I want to highlight too is um, now that our team has been chatting and collaborating on um, the tasks and the documents, um, how do the less active people see these um, changes and get to see exactly what everyone's been working on? So from this side, um, I want to show you the calendar. So whether you're accessing the Teams calendar and taking a look at your native teams app to see our deadlines for our case on the screen you can see exactly the same tasks and drafts and join meeting links to access this particular event or if i go over to our outlook we can see the same experience here and as you can see this matter deadline we have coming up today also has those same links to tasks to take us directly to teams join a Teams meeting or view that summary judgment draft that we've been collaborating on just now. So last thing that I wanna show you is how to actually get these documents in front of your clients. So let me go back over to Law Toolbox and I'm gonna go back to our app here and uh, we're gonna work on our Smith case that we recently opened. So this Smith case, we recently created a team for it and now we're ready to share a few documents with our client. So I'm gonna go to Law Toolbox and click Share File. On this screen, I can select which folder we wanna include. So I have a pre-designated Teams channel that's just for our client. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them access to the contents here for them to add additional documents, signed agreements. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the client workspace and I'm gonna go ahead and add um, June 20 to our matter. Client happens to be a Gmail user, but that still allows us to include them in our file sharing experience and have them collaborate um, within, within our documents. So I'm going to go ahead and give June read and write permissions so that way they can update the documents that we're providing. And I'm going to go ahead and hit share. As you can see here now, we have June 20 shared to the case, and we can revoke that access at any point in time whenever we feel like the workspace is no longer needed. 
So next I'm gonna to go to um, show you the client experience and I'm gonna show you from the Gmail perspective. June doesn't have any access to Law Toolbox or Microsoft applications and we can still collaborate on those documents. So here June received the client workspace and they can go ahead and hit open. And that's gonna take you through the multi-factor authentication to make sure and verify that the user we sent this to is the user this was intended for. I'm gonna go ahead and go through this. Now this has sent a multi-factor authentication code. So I'm just gonna go and check our inbox. And here comes the verification code that we can copy and add to validate access to this particular SharePoint site. I'm gonna go ahead and verify. And in just a moment, you can see that um, June only has access to the client workspace. And from here, we can add um, documents that would be relevant for a client to see. And I love the fact that um, this is basically a set aside location for the law firm and the client to share documents throughout the life of the case. They can drag and drop. You see exactly who, who shared it. You can add a thousand items at once, I think, is how many you can upload uh, because it, it's leveraging SharePoint. And they're, the best of, of, of all of this is that there is absolutely no guest access required. Not everybody wants to do guest access for all of their clients. And this is just a pure file share experience that's nested inside the team where you're managing your matter with, with a unique file share with your client. So thank you for that, Dasha. Absolutely. So now that June has added a couple documents to the workspace, we're going to go ahead and check out exactly what the documents the client provided. So we're going to go to our Smith v. Jones matter within the team's experience and go to the external client workspace that we've shared. So all of those documents that June has added are going to show up in the files tab at the top. And in just a moment, we're going to see when those documents were modified, when they were added, and who they were added by. So you can see we have received the engagement letter and the fee agreement that was um, added by our client about a minute ago. And then as we add documents, it'll show the name of the attorney that's uploaded those. So that's awesome. Okay, well, I think that takes us to the end, Dasha. Is that right? Absolutely. I'll take it over to you, Carolyn. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. We're really excited and want to share with you what your next steps look like. So if you'd like to start using Law Toolbox within Microsoft Teams, it doesn't cost you anything. All you need to do is send a quick message with this QR code, or you can write down the, the, uh, the URL link at the bottom of the page and share that with your IT person, asking them to centrally deploy Law Toolbox Teams app for everybody in your law firm or for a specific group of people in the legal department, for example, if you're in the, the Office of General Counsel. And then when you send your IT folks this message, indicate to them a couple of practice areas that you would like them to save as a Teams template uh, for you so that you can get started automating the apps, files, and folders that you'd like to see with every team that gets automatically provisioned by Law Toolbox. So thank you so much for your time today.